All right, it's card of the day, series five. And this is card number 311, titled, The Model Builders Proudly Display Their Work. Let's learn about the Star Wars Model Builders. Lauren Peterson is a Canadian visual effects artist who worked as a modeler for Industrial Light and Magic on the six Star Wars films. In addition, he is the author of the 2006 book, Sculpting a Galaxy Inside the Star Wars Model Shop. He was one of two model makers to design Boba Fett's Slave One. He earned a bachelor's degree in art from California State University, Long Beach. Since being hired by George Lucas in 1975, he has worked on many of Lucas's films as well as several of Steven Spielberg's. In 1984, Peterson received an Academy Award and a British Academy Award for visual effects for his work on Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. In 1988, Peterson was chief model maker for another Lucas film, Willow. I was doing sculptures for McDonald Land and I came across a person I went to college with. Bob Shepard. He was working with John Dykstra and they talked about this project they were working on, a science fiction film, and they said they could use some help. Three months later, I heard from them again. Lauren Peterson discussing how he was hired for Star Wars. Some of the models that Lauren Peterson has worked on for the Star Wars films are Classics Escape Pod, The Sandcrawler in the Special Edition, The Star Destroyer, the T-65 X-Wing Starfighter, TIE LN Starfighter, the BTL Y-Wing Starfighter, in The Empire Strikes Back, Cloud City, Executor, Hoth Snow, Millennium Falcon, Slave One, and Star Destroyer. In Return of the Jedi, the Executor and Star Destroyer, in The Phantom Menace, Jedi Temple, Mos Espa Grand Arena, Attack of the Clones, Jedi Temple, Revenge of the Sith, Jedi Temple, Mustafar, Lava River. John Dykstra is a special effects supervisor and pioneer in the development of the use of computers in filmmaking. After studying industrial design, Dykstra landed a job working with Douglas Trumbull on site at running filming model effects. When George Lucas was recruiting people for the special effects work on Star Wars, he approached Trumbull who pointed him towards Dykstra. Dykstra led the development at Industrial Light and Magic of the computer-controlled motion capture camera system Dykstraflex that was responsible for many of the film's groundbreaking effects. The system was made possible by the availability of off-the-shelf microprocessors at relatively low cost and second-hand VistaVision cameras. However, there was tension between Dykstra and Lucas who later complained that too much of the special effects budget was spent on developing the camera systems and that the effects team did not deliver all the shots that he had wanted. Regardless, following the release of Star Wars, Dykstra secured his status in the industry with Academy Awards for Best Special Effects and Special Technical Achievement. And now it's the back side of the card, and it's a puzzle piece. Intriguing. All right, that's the card of the day. Look out for the next card. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and click subscribe. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook.